Hi guys, how are you? Um, welcome back. So today I thought I wanted to do something um, a little bit different. Uh, tomorrow I will be exactly uh, three months left until my son's due date. So I'm in my third trimester now and um, I thought I would do like a pregnancy favorites video. I know if you're not pregnant, you probably won't be interested, but I figured if anyone was um, or plan on being pregnant soon, maybe you would enjoy this. So first off, um, so my the last time I was pregnant was going to be exactly 10 years ago. So less than a week before my new son comes is my other son's birthday and he's turning 10. So being pregnant this time around, it almost felt like the first time all over again because I felt like I didn't remember anything. I had a really, granted I was 23, but I had a really, really great pregnancy the first time. And I'm lucky to say that I feel the same way again. Um, I never experienced morning sickness. Um, I know as far as like stretch marks and stuff, those are pretty, um, are supposed to be hereditary. But with my son um, before and so far now with this son, I hadn't really noticed any stretch marks, um, which they do seem to run in um, in uh, on my mom's side and a lot of the women that have had kids, but not so much on my father's side. So I don't know if that plays a role into it. But the things that I've been like obsessed with while I've been pregnant and loving, um, are, there's a few different things. First, I'll do supplements. Uh, I just found this kind on Amazon. I like them because they say they're like all natural organic whole foods. It's um, my kind of organics prenatal. I take a prenatal uh, once a day. I take it during lunch because I notice if I do take this um, on an empty stomach, it will upset my stomach. So I'll take a prenatal once a day. Um, the other thing I take every day is uh, just an omega fish oil supplement. Before I took fish oil, I used to take the liquid fish oil, but being pregnant, um, my stomach's very sensitive and I just can't handle taking the um, liquid. I feel like I'm going <laughs> to, the taste makes me feel like I'm going to throw up. But those are the two supplements I've been taking. Um, as far as like body care, I've definitely noticed being pregnant that my skin is very, very dry. And I can't remember if it, I told you, it's so long since I was pregnant. I can't remember if, um, if it was that way before, but my skin is super dry. So I've been using a lot of thick creams instead of um, just regular like thin lotions like I used to use. Sorry if I'm, I'm nasally, it's, I feel like one of my pregnancy symptoms, my nose is constantly stuffed or running. Um, so the things that I've been loving, and for me, um, again, stretch marks are hereditary, but I think anything you can do to help, why not? And if you get them, like, I mean, it's a part of being pregnant and it's worth, you know, what you get in the end. But for me, the things that I really like, um, I've always been a fan of cocoa butter, but this is the uh, Massage Stretch Marks Lotion. So I do, I'm, I do quite a bit as far as like trying to keep my body moisturized and prevent stretch marks. Every day I, I wear this after I get out of the shower. After I do that, um, it soaks in pretty well to my skin. But I am literally like a piece of greasy fried chicken under my clothes right now, too. I just got out of the shower. Um, so I have all of this stuff like underneath my clothes. Um, after that, I swear by this stuff. Uh, it's the Bio Oil Skincare. You can get this at Target or Amazon. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, it says it's for stretch marks or like, like uh, scars. So it just looks like this. So I noticed that um, I feel like I don't like how this soaks in without putting um, a lotion on first. So I'll put this stuff on afterwards and I just put in my, so put some in my hand, rub it together and rub it everywhere that I want to try to like prevent those stretch marks. And then a third thing, the third thing I do is, and I, um, I used both of those last time I was pregnant. I never knew about this stuff last time, but um, I saw it, I thought, saw it maybe on, online on um, Amazon when I was looking for like stretch mark prevention lotions and creams. This is the cocoa butter tummy butter for stretch marks. I love this stuff. Um, I highly, highly recommend it. And it's just, looks like this, it comes in a little tub. It can be kind of messy because it's a very thick kind of um, cream or butter. Um, it says intensive treatment. 
but this stuff it like lathers on so thick and nice and for me i like that feeling of being like very moisturized and greasy because i can literally feel my skin um i'm a pretty a pretty small girl typically when i'm not pregnant so last time and this time um i could feel my skin stretching and i'm at that point in my pregnancy now in the third trimester that i feel my skin stretching and it's it more, more than anything it's uncomfortable and it hurts so anything i can do to kind of just make that more comfortable because all these products also help with the itching because i've had like really really bad itching on my boobs on my stomach on my hips so this definitely does help to like massage that in instead of like scratching and itching at it another thing um just a water bottle for me uh what's worked best is having a water bottle with a straw so yeah i just got this water bottle off of um off of amazon as well um i i'll try to link some of these products that i got from amazon but i but for some reason i was having trouble linking products from amazon i'm not sure why that is like like the link was just coming up um as a link in the description and it wasn't clickable so I'm not sure what that's about, but I can try to find it. If not, I could try to find something similar to some of these things. Um, not the not the lotions and whatnot, but some of these things like the water bottle. A straw has been so helpful for me because I notice if it's like a cap that I have to screw off, I, I'm not going to drink it as much. But if it's something I'm just picking up and sipping on, that's been a lot easier for me. Um, okay, these, these are all the bras that I've brought so far have been from Target. And that was literally when I got pregnant, that was the first thing that grew on me were my boobs. They just felt huge. It was really uncomfortable. Um, it still is like these are, they feel massive and it's not very like comfortable. So a lot of the bras that I got, these are some of them. Um, does it say the brand on here? It's, this is one in black. I have them in a lot of different colors. It says uh, True as the brand. Is this? I have it in this nude color too. I got it in so many colors, these bras. And the thing I like about them is um, they feel supportive, but there's no underwire, which was very uncomfortable for me. Yeah, this brand is called True & Co. So this is the same brand. Um, but I, I really like these. They feel uncomfortable. Um, the fabric is really breathable. And um, I like these too because uh, it feels okay. Like It's not like a regular bra where... Um, I don't mind getting all my lotions and creams and everything else on here um, because I, I don't plan on keeping these either after pregnancy because I know they won't fit. So yeah, they're just really comfortable, really breathable. Um, they're pretty affordable too at Target. Another thing from Target, um, before I was pregnant, I always just slept in as far as loungewear, like a short and sports bra and that was it. Um, or like sweat sweats or something like that. Now, oh my God, I found these um, pajamas at Target and I've brought like every style, um, like so many colors. Uh, the brand is called uh, Stars Above. So I think they're cute. I even just brought a new pair like as my hospital set um, of the pants set because I know it'll probably be cold, but they have this in a robe. So this right here, this is the navy one and it comes in the shorts. Oh my God, they're so light and comfortable. And I've just been wearing them. These are the only pajamas I wear now. Um, this and the other thing that's super comfortable that I don't have down here to show you guys. But um, if you're pregnant and you're not finding like anything as far as like loungewear that's comfortable for you. Uh, if you are if you have like a significant other that wears boxer briefs. Oh my God, I've been stealing those from my husband all the time because with the elastic band, they're just uh, so much more comfortable. Like you can roll them down under your stomach. Uh, they're so stretchy in the waist. So those are great too. If you want to borrow that from, you know, your significant other, if you if you have one that you can uh, borrow, borrow that from, because I've been living in his underwear as well. But these pajamas are great. And I told you, I definitely um, got some more uh, to bring with me to the hospital too. So, and these, um, the way that they fit on me, I can definitely still wear these after after I'm pregnant. Yes, so at this point in my third trimester, none of my clothes really fit. Um, I'm not wearing any jeans. I'm not wearing any denim shorts. I have a lot of dresses like this. This is from, um, it's just a maxi dress from H&M. So all I've been living in are like maxi dresses and some like loungewear kind of clothes. So these I have, again, I have them in so many colors and styles. They're just um, joggers. They're from American Eagle. 
and they're their uh, plush plush joggers. Um, these are so comfortable. Like, oh, I live in these. And, and they're actually pretty flattering too, surprisingly. I wear them outside. I wear them to sleep. I wear them everywhere. So comfortable. And I have them, um, I have them in this charcoal color. I have them in a light gray, uh, a camo, and I think, uh, just a solid black. But yeah, American Eagle have some great joggers. If you're looking for like just comfortable joggers to wear. Uh, two other things. Oh my God. Yes. So I've always been obsessed with, uh, Lululemon's Align leggings, but being pregnant, I'm definitely obsessed with them. This is another thing I threw, um, in my, uh, I'm already starting up my hospital bag. I threw in my hospital bag to wear home with me. Um, these are really comfortable too. And this is me getting dressed up these days. So I'll wear this and I'll put on like maybe a cute, cute, like loose shirt or whatever, but I live in these two and it does feel kind of good to have this like, you know, make you feel secure around your, around your tummy. So, cause sometimes it feels uncomfortable when something's just like sitting under it and pushing into your stomach. So I definitely think these are comfortable and they're super stretchy, which I love. Um, another thing that I've been wearing a lot, um, are the Lululemon speed shorts. So this is what they look like. Um, I have them in a lot of colors. Uh, the ones I used to never wear the, this style. Um, the ones I would wear all the time are the high waisted speed shorts. And I would just wear that with a sports bra and workout. But since I've been pregnant, I can't wear those. Uh, the high waisted, the way that that band is digs into me. It's not comfortable at all. And be, so far towards the end of my pregnancy, I haven't touched those. These are like the regular or like low rise or regular rise. Oh my God. They're so comfortable. They fit right under my tummy. There's a little string here to adjust the tightness, which I love. And these are just another good find. They're so comfortable and breathable, especially with it being summer. So, um, yeah, if you're looking for a pair of shorts to just like do whatever in. I mean, fashion is not a priority to me right now, really. Um, it's all about being comfortable, especially towards the end of your pregnancy. So I only have one thing left. This is something that I would recommend, even if um, you're not pregnant. Uh, I have a really, really tough time sleeping. So what I had before I was pregnant is um, I had a body pillow, but it was just the body pillow that went straight up and down and it was just a straight pillow. And I had that and that like that would help me sleep at night. I like having something that I can put my legs on, my body's on, hold on to. I liked it a lot. Being pregnant with my stomach, that wasn't doing it for me. Uh, I still wasn't comfortable. I can't sleep at this point in my pregnancy. It's very hard for me to sleep. So I found this on Amazon. It was, I think, like 50 bucks. Okay, let me see if you can see it. Uh, yeah, it's, so what it is, is it's, um, and it has a zipper on it, so you can take the cover off and throw it in the washer, which is really nice. Um, I even saw in the reviews, girls bringing this to their hospital bed, which I was like, that's not a bad idea. Um, but I love it. So it's like a U shape and it wraps around you. And oh my God, especially because I'm normally a tummy sleeper. I can't sleep on, sleep on my tummy right now. So it's so hard for me to sleep on my back. It literally wraps all around me and then I keep a pillow under my legs and it feels like I'm in a cocoon. Like I am not move, moving, but I'm asleep like a baby in that thing. So honestly, if you're having trouble sleeping at this point, you're not comfortable, definitely, definitely, definitely try getting um, a pregnancy pillow. And I would recommend to you getting the U-shaped one because you can just move it around, like have it wrap around you. I, I like to crisscross it sometimes. Sometimes I'll just put one side over me, but that's been so great with just trying to help me get some sleep um, at this point in my pregnancy. So those are all the things that I've been loving during pregnancy. Like I said, I only have three more months to go. I'm so, so, so excited. I can't wait. My son's excited to be a big brother. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you're watching and you're not pregnant, I hope you still enjoyed it. But uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.